Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about a sleep diary. So I think we are all familiar with the word diary and people have used this to fill in notes for a day. Uh, you may use it for a personal thing or for your work related, but this is a unique thing which is called as a sleep diary. There are numerous samples of sleep diaries available. I, but the basic format remains the same. I will be discussing one with you, which is from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. So what is a sleep diary? Sleep diary is basically a record that you keep of your sleep patterns, sleep habits, and the activities done during the day. So who can fill it and who uses this? It can be filled by your own individual self. That is, I myself can fill my own diary. It can also be filled by a caretaker that if you do not want to fill it yourself, maybe somebody can fill this for you. Why is it useful? It is useful for numerous things. One, it gives you a good perspective about your own day and night. That what is the time that I go to bed, how many hours of sleep I get, and what is my day like? It's also of great help when you go and meet a doctor for a particular problem, for a sleep related problem, that by looking at the sleep diary, um, they can formulate some kind of a hypothesis as what is the diagnosis and also plan how it will help you. Third way it can help is that it can measure or it's a good tool to understand the effectiveness of treatment. So this could be a tool used by you yourself to understand that if you make a small change in some examples that we will discuss, how does it really impact your sleep? And once if you meet a physician um, and the suggested medications or treatment for your sleep issues, the sleep diary can also help in that way. So I'm going to just show you what this diary really looks like. Um, this is if I hold it, this is the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. The horizontal is the full day and the vertical lines are the different days of the week. So usually the diary is filled for this is the seven day, this is the seven day, so it's two weeks. The first is the day of the week and you can say that was this a working day or was it a holiday and then we start from the middle of the day and go on till the early morning. The shaded areas are the times that one has slept and this could be in a nap in the evening and these are the shaded areas. Uh, you can mark certain other activities with the alphabet. M is for medication, C is for coffee or caffeine or tea, um, A is for alcohol, E is for exercise and you can also shade and say when you went into bed. So for this individual, uh, this is that he took, he had alcohol at 6 p.m. and took a nap from 7 to 8 p.m. Then went into bed at about 10.30, fell asleep at midnight, but woke up at 4 and was awake from 4 to 5 a.m. and woke up at 7 and then when he took coffee and some medication. The exercise was at 1 p.m. Uh, some people, the other diaries also have an additional uh, column here, which is that it states how did you feel when you woke up in the morning. And this could be on a grade from 0 to 10, 10 being the best and 0 being the worst. So what all does one fill in this diary? You fill uh, all that you did during the day, that is your medication, exercise timings, how long you exercised for, any alcohol, or any other substance, etc., that you have taken. Uh, you shade the areas that you have slept. So it could be some naps in the day. And the other thing that we do require, and it is of help to you and us if this is filled honestly. So I hope uh, we are clear about this. If there are any further questions, if there is anything that you need help for, uh, do feel free to write an email uh, to info at neurologysleepcenter.com and we'll be glad to help you. Uh, particularly in this times that we are going through, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people whose sleep hygiene or the sleep habits or sleep 
practices have gone out of sync with the our body clock and just maintaining your sleep diary will be a great help. Uh, thank you again for giving me your attention. Thank you.